Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show Podcast. I'm Jeff. I'm your host tonight. I've got three great guests calling in from around the world. We have Kellen, Kevin, and Richard. We're going to meet them all in the second round. Uh, but first, we go right into that theme music, which I've lost. Here it goes. That's why we edit. And... <laughs> Right. In round one tonight, we're playing Tri Bonds. I have everybody's set up in the order which they signed up tonight. You never know. Uh, the quicker you are, that's how fast you go first. So my order tonight is Kellen, Kevin, and Richard. And like I said, we're going to do Tri Bonds tonight. So in round one, I'm going to give you three words. Each of those three words tie together to be something else. So they combine to be something. So for example, if I were to say elephant tree and car everybody would say trunk trunk look at that almost trunk. like we rehearsed it <laughs> <laughs> all right kellen are you ready for your first uh, hot seat question i'm as ready as those rocks behind me so <laughs> rock and roll here we go <laughs> kellen bread and butter half sour kosher dill pickle they are all pickles that is correct over to Kevin, belly, break, ballet. Oh, gosh. Uh, all types of grunge music. Types of grunge music. Incorrect. <laughs> I was looking for uh, types of dances or dancers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Over to Richard. <laughs> Tony, Oscar, Grammy. Awards. Awards is correct. Correct. Back up to Kellen. A nail, a car, a golf ball. What ties a nail, a car, a golf ball together? Dimples. Points, Dimples. heads, I don't know. <laughs> All three were uh, incorrect. They are things that can be driven. You can drive a nail, you can drive a car, oh. and drive a golf ball. <clears throat> All right. All right. Kevin, scalene, isosceles, equilateral. Uh, all types of math problems? Types math of math solutions, problems. something with math. math. <laughs> well, I, I I can give you a quarter point for math, but it it, it is they are types of triangles. Triangles. Oh, okay. <laughs> Over to Richard. A song. A heart. A policeman. What ties together song, heart, and policeman? Beats. Beats is correct, correct. And the last one for each of you tonight, Kellen, time, stink, atomic. Machine, energy, machine, machine. energy, close, stink. fart, I don't know. <laughs> Farts, farts is incorrect. <laughs> they are. Types of bombs. Types of bombs. Energy is in the ballpark, but I can't give it to you. No. All right, Kevin, let's get you on the board here. Revolver. Help. Rubber sole. Uh, revolver, help, rubber sole. Uh, all kinds of doors? Doors. <laughs> Incorrect. It is. Albums by the Beatles. Beatles albums. Oh, I okay. Yeah. <laughs> and last one. <laughs> this is a train wreck. <laughs> You'll be fine. Don't worry. There's there's still 40 points available after this. 
And <laughs> Kevin, immigration, agriculture, defense. Or that was to Richard. Richard, immigration, agriculture, defense. Mexicans. <laughs> Mexicans. Uh, no. <laughs> they are departments of the U.S. government. Departments of the U.S. government. So that means we're going to the second round. This is where we're going to meet my guest tonight. And because Kevin has the odd score out, you got the you have the the least amount of points. You get to choose the order for round two. Now keep in mind, the question groups can be a little different. Uh, they could be easier to harder. So you can keep the order the same, or you can gamble and change it up. Uh, well, let's reverse it. All right, so in round two, we're going to go Richard, Kevin, Kellen. Kellen seems to like that. Richard, welcome officially to the show. We're going to put you in the hot seat. Uh, where are you calling in from tonight? We are from Dirty Jersey. Dirty Jersey. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. I, uh, tell me a little bit about what you do. You're, do you have a podcast or anything? Yeah, I'm a full-time podcaster, uh, two-time uh, best-selling author on Amazon, public speaker and my podcast is how i help people that are struggling in life and in business very good what's the best way people can find out about you hashtag the comeback coach comeback coach all right we'll get that in the show notes for everybody and link you up we'll link your social profiles are you ready for the hot seat yes all right richard <clears throat> i'm going to give you four questions and then the answers to those four questions will tie together to be a fifth answer to a fifth question, okay? Okay. And then after that, we're going to sit. You're going to still be in the hot seat, but we're going to do a name five bonus question. And I'm going to give you a very easy category, something like name five spices in your spice cabinet. And I'll give you 10 seconds on the clock. You got 10 seconds to fill that, cap, fill that <laughs> category. All right. So your first question... What color is the cookie monster? Blue. From, blue is correct. So remember blue. Blue is going to be part of your final five here. If you've taken something with the intention of returning it, you haven't stolen it. You've just borrowed it. it. Borrowed, borrowed is correct. Your third question. Will Farrell played Frank the Tank in the film Blank School. Old school. Old school is correct. And your last question, the capital of India is Blank Delhi. New. New Delhi. New Delhi is correct. So, Richard, what ties together blue, borrowed, old, and new? Uh, when you're getting married, married is correct. Correct. You went five for five. Uh, I do have a scorecard available tonight. Uh, Richard in the first round had two and you ran five right there in the second round. And I owe Kellen one more point as well. So Richard, are you ready for your name? Five bonus question. Sure. All right, here we go. I'll put 10 seconds on the clock once I read the question. Richard, name five drinks that give you energy and go. Uh, Monster, Physics Zero, uh, C4, uh, Total War. I got four more for you on there. We'll get you four more points on the board. You're out in first place right now with 11 points. We're going to go over to Kevin. We're going to mix it up. We reverse the order, but it keeps Kevin in the middle. Kevin, where are you calling in from? <laughs> I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. All right. Well, welcome. What, it's still daylight where you're at, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, very bright out. <laughs> well, yeah, we're already an hour in the <laughs> darkness here. I'm in Pennsylvania. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. 
I uh, I host four different podcasts. One's called The Earth Cycle. It's a comedy variety show I do with three other people. And then another show I do called Rant of Whatever, which is literally just me ranting about whatever. And then I started a new podcast called Lights Out Entertainment, which is a bunch of uh, fictional audio plays, which we release at least one a month. And then I also do uh, The Strange Sighting, which I get call-ins to tell about their paranormal, spooky, strange, weird sightings. And if you want to add your own story, you can email me at strangesightingpodcast at gmail.com. Enter your story. Awesome, awesome. I'll put all that in the show notes. We'll link it up for you. The big question I have for you now, are you ready for the hot seats? Sure am. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you four questions, and those answers will tie together to be a fifth. Which vitamin, right. which vitamin is created in our bodies when exposed to sunlight? Uh, vitamin D. Vitamin D is correct. And your first point, we always say the first point's the toughest on this show. You've got that hurdle. So here we go. There are two ways to give birth. Natural or blank section c section c section two for two so far what is the abbreviation for the recovery group for people who drink too much aa aa is correct three for three for you kevin and the last one what north american motor club gives out free maps and lets you renew your license instead of going to the DMV. Maybe a little more of an American question. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. No idea on that one. It is triple A, AAA. So, oh, Kevin, yeah. We have BCAA here. <laughs> <laughs> what ties together D, C, AA, and AAA? Uh, is it musical notes? Musical notes, incorrect. They are types of batteries. Double A, triple A, D, and C. They're battery right. sizes. <laughs> so, Kevin, I have 10 seconds on the clock. <clears throat> 10 seconds on the clock. I'll read you your name five question, and I'll start the timer as soon as I complete it. Name five kitchen appliances and go uh toaster soda stream microwave oven and a twinkie maker that is correct five for five a twinkie maker has to be an appliance uh you said it it so is it actually <laughs> so you're back in the running here you got oh, three points in the second round round and you got all five in the name five bonus so let me oh it didn't add it up there so you're just three points out of first place all of a sudden and we got 30 points to go in the third round we're gonna go over to kellen into the hot seat kellen welcome to the show yeehaw i can't wait <laughs> twinkie maker that would have stumped me <laughs> Have you ever made your own Twinkies? <laughs> I have never made a Twinkie, and I don't think I've had one in 40 years. <laughs> well, the ones that, that they made 40 years ago might still be good to eat today. I don't know if they expire. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That could be true. Oh, Kellen, where are you calling in from? <laughs> well, I'm a fellow Canuck. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, so I'm a little bit north and east of uh, our other buddy there. Wow, it's a Canadian takeover tonight. <laughs> yeah, the Canadians uh, are taking over. <laughs> Well, Richard's got to hold down for a Team USA. But, Kellen, tell me a little bit about yourself, and uh, I know you do some speaking as well. I'm a speaker. I have a bunch of events uh, lined up to start in person again later this year. I'm an author. I have 16 books, and I just started, I'm starting my 17th next week. I'm a coach. I help people achieve things they don't believe they can do. I had a 30 year career as an executive in energy. I also have a podcast called Your Ultimate Life 15 minutes daily about how to create a life of purpose, prosperity, and joy by serving with your divine gifts. It was related to the pandemic. And I did it daily, so I'm on episode 640-something. <laughs> so that's how long the pandemic's at least been running for. <laughs> yeah, well, we started it in April of 2020, right wow. after the lockdown started, yeah. Wow, well, that's impressive. That's a lot of episodes and, and two and a half or two and a quarter years right there. Nice work. 
and I'll get all that linked up in the show notes. We'll we'll get everybody uh, able to reach out to you. Are you ready for the hot seats? Absolutely. Let's bring it on, even if I lose. That's it. Uh, Kevin tried to ice you by making you last, but let's see what happens. I'm going to read you four questions, and those four answers will tie together for a fifth. Name, uh, and you did mention rock and roll already, so name the name of the metal band that sang The Number of the Beast and The Trooper is known as Blank Maiden. Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, or Iron, as we say in Pittsburgh. Iron Maiden. Uh, Iron. (laughs) Iron Maiden. (laughs) Your second question, Kelly. Which gentleman's accessory is commonly worn with tails? Tux. Tux. Well, the tux would be the the part of the tails. What would you wear with the tux? Uh, You'd wear a bow tie. You'd wear a cummerbund. You'd wear uh, cufflinks. (laughs) You're all over everything but I need... Uh, keep going higher. I'll give you a hint. Uh, well, you got an, the, the no, bow tie. Uh, the bow tie. Uh, you've got a shirt just with the ruffles. Uh, I don't know. I own a couple of tuxes. Oh, a top hat. A top hat. I'll give it to you. We'll, we'll question that in the historical record, but uh, that's yeah. a that question's a very vague question. Well, you know what? I have a couple of tuxes, but I've never owned a top hat, so I didn't think of that. <laughs> do your tuxes have tails? They do, but I oh. don't have a top hat. <laughs> well, there, it might be different in Canada because of the, the difference. Uh, I will accept all the other answers you gave and include top hats. So your third question, Akita, Pomeranian, and Chow Chow are all breeds of what type of animal? Dogs. Dogs is correct. And your fourth question, the shape of Italy is commonly compared to which item of footwear? A boot. A boot is correct. So what ties together iron, top hat, dog, and boot? Yeah, dog at the iron boot. Um, Let's see. I don't know. We have a three. We have a, we have a weird three second roll. I'll play the I'm three dead. seconds. Ah! Ah! <laughs> they are all game pieces in the game Monopoly. Oh, they are, in <laughs> fact, Monopoly. I didn't think about that. All right. Your name five bonus questions. I'll start the clock once I read it. Name five makes of cars. And go. Toyota, Honda, Buick, Chevrolet, Ford, Plymouth, Jeep. (laughs) And you got five for five. I always let the timer run just for that little bit of added stress. You received four in the second round, and you got all five of the bonus. We got you a very close game for everybody right now. We have... Oh, let's put it back up there. A one-point game between first and second. Kellen and Richard, 11 and 10. Uh, Kevin is right in there with eight points because in this round, in the final round, we have 10 questions. Each question is worth three points. So there's still 30 points available here. I've asked all my guests to bring buzzers tonight. Uh, Kellen, let's hear your buzzer first so the folks listening at home will know. <laughs> you got the rock sounds uh kevin let's hear yours <laughs> kevin with the slide whistle and richard attention the bullshit meter has detected <laughs> i'll have to edit a little bit of that but that's good the bullshit meter here we go so in this round i'm going to read you a very vague question Who am I? What am I? Where am I? And then I'll start to read you a series of three clues. You're going to buzz in when you think you know it. You want to be fast, but you got to be accurate because if you buzz in on the first clue, you'll get three points if you're right. But if you're wrong, you can lose three points. So you got to be fast, but you want to make sure you know that you got two other people buzzing in against you. So here we go. This first one, I'm looking for a famous chef. Which famous chef? He's the first 
Scottish chef to have won three Michelin stars. Oh, Kellen. I'll say Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay is correct for three points. That's going to jump you up in the first place. And we'll take a look at the scoreboard just to see how fast this changes. I got you at 13 now, Kellen. Richard at 11. Kevin at 8. Question number 2. 27 points remain. I'm looking for a plant. Which plant? This plant is a type of grass. Kind of vague. Could be a couple things. Uh, Kevin's going for it. Uh, marijuana? Marijuana is is a type of grass, correct, but it, it's not going to meet the requirements of the next two clues, uh -huh. so that's going to cost you three points. Good guess, though. Our second clue, it is used in cooking, building, and medicine, and it is used to make instruments, paper, and textiles. Kellen. Bamboo. Bamboo is correct for two points. Over it still to the score one, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there, yeah, you are correct. Uh, we have five, and we have a negative three for you. But the last one would be: it makes up the majority of the diet of giant pandas. And I don't think too many pandas are are smoke are eating the marijuana. So. <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> Also, this show, I will read questions like that to mislead you. Does, <laughs> our, our third question tonight in the final round, I'm looking for a mountain range. This mountain range runs through seven countries. Oh, the Andes? The Andes. Richard, with an early guess, the Andes is... Correct, oh. correct. What a guess. It's also the world's highest mountain range outside of Asia, and the one that would have given it to everybody, it's the world's longest mountain range above sea level. Richard, I owe you three points. Look how close we are. It's a one-point game again. On to our fourth question. Which sport? I'm looking for a sport. It is considered the oldest team sport in North America. The oldest. Sport. Kevin. Is that uh, lacrosse? Lacrosse is correct. Correct. What a. Oh. You guys are pulling it out on the first clue. That's going to get rid of your loss already. You're back up to eight. You're still in the game. We still have five questions remaining. 15 total points. Our sixth question. Oh, wait. I skipped one. We have a, we do have we have six remaining. Which famous children's author? His stories have been translated into 150 languages. Whoa. I heard the I think I heard the whoa. Who was the was that the whoa part of the button? Oh. Dr. Seuss? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Richard. Could you repeat that? Dr. Seuss? Dr. Seuss is incorrect. That'll cost you three points. Anybody want to take a second guess? Our second clue. He what? <laughs> uh, Kevin. Lewis. Um, Lewis, the, the Alice in Wonderland author. Carol Lewis? Yeah, Carol Lewis. Carol Lewis is incorrect. <laughs> That'll cost you three points. <laughs> Kellen, you want to swing for the fences? No. no. <laughs> it's actually Lewis Carroll, I think. Uh, Lewis Carroll. <laughs> what yeah, do I know? I think, well, I'm glad Richard say. I mean, not Richard, but uh, Kevin saved me. I was going to say Dr. Seuss, so he beat me to lose three points, so thank you. <laughs> At least I'd say Carol Burnett, right? Yeah, well, yeah, that too. <laughs> How about Burnett uh, Lewis? Hey, Bur <laughs> Carol Burnett Lewis. <laughs> All right. Uh, so even though if you buzz in and you were wrong, you're not locked out from the round. You can also buzz in multiple times. You can also buzz in more than once during the same round. 
we love negative scores are a big hit on this show. Uh, he wrote the story, <laughs> The Ugly Duckling. The Ugly Duckling. No. Our third clue <laughs> for one point. The popular symbol of Copenhagen was also inspired by one of his stories. Ellen. Hans Christian Andersen. Hans Christian Andersen for one point is... Correct. Correct. We got a lot of score changes here. I owe Kellen one point. Kevin lost three more. And Richard lost his three points. So Kellen is coming out to a lead here. He's doubled Richard now. Now we have five questions remaining. So we still have 15 points to go. I'm looking for a fruit. Which fruit? The average tree contains 7,000 pieces of this fruit. Uh, Kevin. The fig. The fig is fig. incorrect. That'll cost you Shucks. three points. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? You want to double guess, Kevin? I have no idea, so I'm not uh, going here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Our second clue it flavors the ice cream named after the lead guitarist of the Grateful Dead. Cherry. Oh, sorry. Cherry. Did you, did you buzz in? Yes. <laughs> okay. Richard is <laughs> correct with two points. I'll get that added. You're just down to one negative one point. It's a six point game now. I'm looking for a knife. Which knife? It is named after a hero of the Alamo battle. <laughs> Kellen. Bowie knife, David Bowie. Or not Bowie, David Bowie. That was more clues. Were... The Bo Jim Bowie. Yeah, Jim, Jim Bowie. Bowie, Bowie Carol Lewis, Bowie, Jim. We <laughs> well, it was Jim Bowie, not David Bowie. <laughs> Jim Bowie. Bowie Although I do it. Uh, the other clues were David Robert Jones's stage name was inspired by it, and it became an American legend. Three questions remaining. We have Kellen with 19. We have nine points remaining. Richards is still in it. Kevin can swing for the fences here. I'm looking for a continent. <laughs> Which continent? So it's one of seven. How hard could it be? The prevalent language on the continent are English, Spanish and French. <laughs> Kellen. North America. <laughs> North America for three points is correct. Our second or to last question tonight. Which animal? I'm looking for an animal. Sancho Panza mounted one of them. <laughs> Kellen. Donkey. Donkey is correct. And our final clue tonight, question tonight, I'm looking for a natural wonder. It is located on the Zambezi River in Africa. <laughs> Kellen, I'm going to guess Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro is incorrect. That's going to cost you three points. Our second clue... The locals call it the smoke that thunders. Is it Magic Mike? Uh, Kevin? Uh, is it a, a, a volcano Mount Vesuvius? I don't know if that's Mount a wonder Vesuvius. or not. <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. That'll cost you two points. The thunder from down under. And our last clue. It is not the highest or the widest waterfall in the world, but the sheet of falling water is larger than any other waterfall on the planet. It is Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls will go over to the scoreboard, do the final scores. I owe Kellen uh, six more points, he lost three on it. And I think you lost two more there. I think that's I think we're good there. At the end of it all, through it all tonight, Kellen is our winner tonight. Congratulations, Kellen. 
Nice work. Honestly, most people don't swing on every first clue. Like you, you were going for, you went on it. Most people don't do that. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd either lose big or win big, whatever. I didn't know. <laughs> well, you swang for the fences and it paid off big tonight. Congratulations, Kellen. You get the bragging rights. And this is the part of the show where I completely turn it over to you. I sit back and you can plug, promote, talk about whatever you want. Kellen, you're the winner. You can go first tonight. So I just finished a book in December, and it'll be out in the next month called Forgiveness, A Journey of Courage to a Place of Freedom and Power. My journey through life has been marked with decades of depression, kind of a sad topic, and overcoming that. Right now, in the last uh, 14 years, as I built this coaching practice, uh, I have written 16 books, and all of them are designed as books to help, to lift, and bless. And my goal for 2022 is to help 10 million people discover, develop, and serve with their divine gifts. So it's a very serious and important goal to me. And that's the serious note of our fun podcast tonight. Uh, very good. Very good. I'll have all those links in the show notes for you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. You betcha. Happy <laughs> to be here and grateful to meet the other guys. Oh, great. Yeah, we had a double Canadian show tonight. Kevin, also from up north, uh, this is your time. Whatever you want to talk about, the floor is yours. Yeah, so check out all of the End Media lineup podcast, The Earth Suck Hole. You can check that out on all major podcasting platforms. You can check out Rant of Whatever on Google, iTunes, and uh, Spotify. And also check out The Strange Sighting for paranormal stories and spooky stories all over on Google, iTunes, and Spotify as well. And also check out Lights Out Entertainment because we make completely fictional audio plays once a month, sometimes twice a month, at least for every holiday. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so check that out on all major podcasting platforms as well. And follow us over on TikTok at the Earth Suck Hole, where we make daily content. We're always welcoming new followers over there. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. We'll have that in the show notes for you. I think I did look at your TikTok earlier. You have some funny skits over there. Uh, Thank I'll you. put that in the show notes. Everybody check it out. And Richard, well, here it is. The floor is yours. Whatever you need, whatever you want to talk about, promote, it's yours. Hey guys, my book just hit number one for the second time on Amazon. It's called A Hero's Journey from Darkness to Light. Mm -hmm. If you pick it up um, and you are own a business mm -hmm. for 11 bucks, you're going to get something valued at over $2,000 if you pick it up. 22% um, of that goes to help veterans mm -hmm. that are struggling with um, PTSD and also homelessness. And also I came out with my brand new coffee. If you guys love oh. coffee. It's twice the uh, caffeine of any coffee out there, and I'm actually giving this away. So if somebody texts me or messages me, it says coffee, they'll be entered to draw to win that, and that'll be delivered right to your home with another special gift. Special gift. Awesome, awesome. I'll have those links in the show notes. We'll link to your coffee company. I am a coffee uh, fanatic, <laughs> so uh, I'm sure I'll check some of that out and. That's all I had tonight. Anything else from anybody else? Yeah, I want to give extra props to Richard. I was on his podcast as a guest and <clears throat> really love the work that he does to support veterans and the work that he does. And so I just wanted to say yay. And I also love what Kevin's doing because funny is good. We live in this heavy amount of time. And so the audio plays and the rants about nothing, both those tickle me just a little. And so I just wanted to say thank you to you two guys. It's a great time to be tickled. Uh, and that's all I had for tonight. Uh, until next time. <laughs> uh, that's my favorite part. There we go.